Microscopes are basic tools of biology and other areas of science. This video introduces you to two types of optical microscopes that use light to help you see structures that are too small for the human eye. The history of microscopes dates back a long time. By 1250, magnifying glasses and spectacles had been invented. About 1595, Zacharias Janssen, with the help of his father Hans, probably produced the first compound microscope. In the 1600s, Robert Hooke used this microscope. In 1665, he published a book that showed the world organisms and details that had never been seen before. Over the last four centuries, many improvements have been made to light microscopes, but the main principles have remained the same. The general objectives of this video are to help students, one, identify and describe the functions of the basic parts of a stereoscopic microscope, or, as it is usually abbreviated, a stereo microscope. Two, set up, adjust, and use a stereo microscope. Three, identify and describe the functions of the basic parts of a compound microscope. Four, set up, adjust, and use a compound microscope, including oil immersion. Five, calculate the magnification capabilities of a microscope. And six, estimate the size of microscopic objects. The simplest way of making an enlarged image of an object is to use a magnifying glass or lens. A single magnifying lens produces an upright or erect image that is enlarged two to five times. With two or three lenses together, a compound magnifying lens can produce a magnification of up to 30 times. However, as magnifications increase, lighting becomes problematic because the lenses become smaller in diameter and must be held closer to the object and the eye. Also, at higher magnifications, humans become too unsteady for clear observations. To increase useful magnification, humans have invented the stereo microscope. Such microscopes are useful for examining such things as plants, insects, geological specimens, and electronic components. The next two parts of this video will help you learn to observe such objects with a stereo microscope. 